Hello, I'm Jenny Wilder. I'm the rector here at St. Anne's Episcopal Church in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And I am back with a weekly COVID-19 guidelines update. Um, so last Friday, the CDC uh, raised Forsyth County from moderate to high. Uh, we moved from yellow to green, uh, from yellow to red in our transmission rate of COVID-19. They watch for several metrics uh, relating to where do counties fall in the range from good to moderate to high. And our range right now of transmission rate of COVID puts us at a high level. As a result of our high level of transmission, St. Anne's begins to employ uh, guidelines updates today. And those uh, update, the really one update, is that anybody inside the building must be masked. So we will be masked for worship, formation, fellowship, and um, Mark and I, when we're in our own offices, can be without masks. Uh, but when we move into public area, we must put on a mask. And this is for everybody, regardless of your vaccination status. So starting today at St. Anne's, we will implement our guidelines update for all folks being masked when they're in the building. I've reached out to all of the groups who use our space and have let them also uh, know that this is a requirement of their group as well as any member of our church. So all folks coming into the building from this day forward will need to be masked. Um, when it comes to worship, if you are a reader, you may unmask to read your lesson from the AMBO and uh, the clergy uh, can be unmasked for the first half of our Eucharist service the Liturgy of the Word, um, Mary can take her mask off to proclaim the gospel from the uh, altar area. Um, but after that, and, and I can take my mask off to preach, but once we get to communion, I'll put my mask back on and bless the sacrament fully masked. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this, um, but it ap appears that uh, COVID-19 isn't done with us yet. So I encourage you, if you haven't already, to get vaccinated. And if you are vaccinated, to make an arrangement for your first or second booster shot. And just continue to love our neighbors as ourselves through our outward wearing of a mask. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer them. But if I can't answer them, I'll find the resources needed to give you that answer. All right, friends. Take care and God bless.